This video is on average atomic mass. Average atomic mass is the weighted average of all existing isotopes by their percent abundance. Now you'll recall from the last video that an isotope is atoms of an element with varying amounts of neutrons and they make up about half of the nucleus with the protons. Therefore, uh, they're going to have a big effect on the mass number. So they're going to change the mass number of the atom um, because we're shifting how much or how many neutrons we have in the nucleus. Now remember our protons stay the same because our protons is what uh, identifies each element as itself. It's what tells us what element we have. So average atomic mass is similar to calculating your average grade in your chemistry class. For our chemistry class, 10% of your grade is made up of homework and classwork, 10% is made up of quizzes, 30% is labs and projects, and 50% is tests. Now if you wanted to calculate your average grade or your final grade in chemistry, let's say that you look at your averages that you get for each one of these categories. For your homework and classwork, let's say that your average is an 87. For quizzes, your average is a 90. For labs and projects, your average is a 100. And for tests, your average is an 89. Okay? Your total percent that you can have is 100%. That's what all of these add up to. So to determine your grade, you take 10% of your final grade is your homework, so 10% of 87, plus 10% of 90, which is your quizzes, plus 30% of 100, which is your labs and projects, plus 50% of 90 is your tests. So this is your contribution from each one. Now your total percent you can have was 100%, so to get an average, we take our, our what we got divided by our total. And do you find that your average grade in chemistry would be a 92.2%, which would be your final grade? So we take our percent times what we got, we add those together and divide by our total percent that we have, which is 100%. So let's take a look at this as if we had isotopes. So let's say that I, a scientist is going to scoop up a sample of X. They have a sample of X in their hands. Now 30% of what they have in their hands weighs 72.8 grams. 20% of what they have in their hands has a mass of 72.7 grams and 50% of what they have in their hands has a mass of 72.46%. Now we can say that the percent of what they have in their hands is equal to the percent abundance of what they have. So this is the percent abundance. So how abundant is what they have in their hand is how much do they have in their hands. So 30% of all of this chemical or this element in the world has a mass of 72.8 grams, okay, and so on. So to find the average atomic mass, we do the same thing like we do to find our average grade in chemistry. We take the percent of what we have, so the 30% of it, times 72.8, plus 20% times 72.7, plus 50% times 72.46, all divided by 100. Another way to think about it is that we, in my hand, I have 100 pieces as opposed to talking about it in percents. So of my 100 pieces that I have in my hand, 30 of them have a mass of 72.8 grams, 20 of them have a mass of 72.7 grams, and 50 of them have a mass of 72.46 grams. So I take how many I have multiplied by how much they weigh, and then I add them up, and I divide by my total number of 100, and that gives me, again, a mass of 72.61 grams. Either way you want to look at it is fine as long as you get your 72.61 grams. Now, from this, this tells me my average atomic mass and I can then look to see on the periodic table which element this matches up with. So on the periodic table, you have your elemental symbol, and underneath that is a number, and this number is the average atomic mass for that element. So on the periodic table, I look to figure out which element has the average atomic mass of 72.61. And after you look that, and you should go ahead and look right now, you'll see that it's germanium, or GE. So its average atomic mass is 72.61.
This is different than its mass number that we talked about in the video prior to this. Its mass number is the number of protons plus neutrons. So for germanium, we'd round this to 73. Okay, that's a mass number versus the atomic mass is where we add up and look at each individual isotope and the mass of each individual isotope and base it off of its percent abundance that we have.